Hello and welcome back to Replay. I'm Leo Vader, for some reason. <laughs> We've got Kyle Hilliard to my left. Hey. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Not that much. Nathan Anstat, GI intern. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. Great. Where's Reiner? Nah, no one knows. Well, of course he's in the- <laughs> Oh! Surprise! Yeah! In the control booth, running the show. Uh-oh. It's going to be great. That always goes well. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. Whoa. Oh, we're, we're snapping around. Some kind of castle it? view. Where's that camera? What are you... Oh, oh Ryder, no, 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 what no, no, are no. you doing? It's our uh, outside camera. No. We don't switch to that one. Press the game play. There, there we game go. Play. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. God. Oh. No. Oh. 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 Okay. There. Back there on game go. play. All right. We're playing Skate 3 today. The best? Skate? Maybe. The Maybe. third third skate. <laughs> third skate is what we refer to it as. Uh, Leo, you love this series, right? I do. I love it very much. I was playing Skate 3 not two weeks ago. For fun or for research? For fun. Oh. It's uh, Xbox One backwards compatible. Okay. So you can play with shockingly HD graphics. Oh, like they're actually pretty good? It looks great. Oh. Yeah. Well, why are we playing on a 360? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta download it. Oh, who's yeah, got the time? Is, who's got the time? Oh, we've got a character here. It looks just like you. Oh, it's it's interesting. It's actually what you're wearing right now. That's a brand new shirt. Yeah, that's like that. You bought a pack of three of those, and you just pulled that out. <laughs> you knew he was going skateboarding today, and he wanted to look yeah. his best. Yeah. What about you, Nathan? Are you a big skate guy? I I I remember when this game was coming out, and I saw it. I think I played it at like a Target, mm. Mm. and. <laughs> lost my mind in a good way yes okay good. absolutely like i played tony hawk growing up like i'm sure most people did yeah and loved yeah. it what do you, you and know. then the first time just doing a kick flip <laughs> ow 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 <laughs> did look painful sorry nathan no you did a kick flip well just like like this the basic action yeah it, it felt so different at the time it, it feels was, so heavy and yeah. real. Oh! Ow! Yeah, it's all mapped to the right control stick. The right thumbstick, yeah. Right thumbstick? Yeah, we call it a thumbstick. Oh, is that right? Uh, <laughs> in the biz. games industry. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show what I'm doing. Check this uh, out. You got that, you got that you camera angle? My, my um, full camera. Uh, <laughs> hey! hey! Okay, there we go. I'm doing this. Ah! <laughs> oh. ah sorry. Uh, okay. You do this to jump. Let's, let's and you do go. it in different ways to. I don't know how to. <laughs> Let's just go back to gameplay. Just go back to gameplay. There we go. Oh, just right. imagine he had done some kickflips. Yeah. I love this. This is good. Ryan, were you a big this skate, is good. skate person? Were oh, yeah. I love these games. Yeah. You know, I was kind of Game Informer's skate guy mm. oh. uh, before Nick Aaron started. He was an intern like you were, Nathan, and then oh. we, we hired him. And uh, he ended up doing our Skate 3 review, but I think I did Skate 1 and 2 and all the Tony Hawks. Oh, okay. And Kato's gotten really big into skating now, too. Yeah, as well, because Kato's actually like uh, Matt Kato in the office, who does, you know, a lot of the FIFA reviews and stuff. He, he's, actually, he's actually skateboarded when he was younger. Oh, really? I believe so. Maybe I made that up. I, don't I know. feel like I have little to talk to Kato about, you know, since he's kind of a sports guy. We yeah. We don't have talking that much, but we have bonded over skateboarding, for yeah. sure. We talk about Skater XL all the time. Mm. That game's looking cool. Yeah, extra large. <laughs> so this series needs to come back. You hear that all the time with people at uh, E3. Like when E3's around, they yeah. want a Skate 4 announcement. I mean, right. And Dead Space, right? Mostly just Leo, to be fair. Like, he's the one shouting. <laughs> a vocal minority. You, lit one. Right you did a whole you. series. Okay. You did your Who's Winning E3 series, and a lot of it just yeah. revolved, like turned into you wanting a new Skate the only <laughs> The only point of that was to... Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, to bring Skate 3 back. So I know people want these back as remasters and all that stuff, but licensing is very tricky with the soundtracks and the skaters themselves. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a problem that's held the Whoa. Tony Hawk games Whoa. back from being re-released. Yeah. Like a skate collection of 1, 2, 3 would be amazing. Yeah. That'd be, yeah. Because I, 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 I was a Tony Hawk boy. Um, that's what they called me at school. The Tony Hawk Tony boy. Tony Hawk boy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I... I, by the time skate rolled around, no pun intended, I I was kind of done with skateboarding games. I don't know. I just wasn't that interesting to me. But at now years <laughs> removed, like, everyone talks about it so much. I'm like, I think I missed something. Like, I really should have yeah. checked in on these games. Quite possible. I, I What I did is I placed a marker here, and I'm trying to do a cool line. Oh, okay. Which is one of my favorite things to do. See, I played I played the demo for Skate 1 and was... Oh! oh nailed yeah. it. Oh, man! Sweet. Sick! We're skating! And it was, it was oh hard... Oh, my gosh. It was hard to go from Tony Hawk to Skate because it, it is it <laughs> controls so differently. Oh, for sure. Um, which is interesting about it, which is what sets it apart from Tony Hawk. But I was... 
I was such a Tony Hawk boy that I, I struggled with it. Hey, Leo, this appears hey. like it's like riding a bike for you. Yeah. You you really like just kind of got back into the groove. You know what's funny is I, uh, I've i been playing it a fair amount just on and off. It's a nice game to pick up for an hour every couple weeks. Mm. And I've been playing it on the harder difficulty because there are difficulties in this one that have to do with how hard tricks are to land, mm. how forgiving it is. And this is on an easier difficulty that I'm used to, so I'm just doing all the same stuff I normally do and mess up, hey. except it's connecting. Nice. You Wait. saved yourself from falling. Did you just materialize a skateboard underneath you? Yeah, you can get rid of it, too. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I, I definitely want to try and see if we can get some like crazy physics uh, wipeouts. Like, that's... Yeah, find that's, a tall building. So you yes. want to do a Hall of Meat-style challenge, is what you're saying? Yes, please. A hey. Hall of Meat-style challenge. Nathan, can I pay you a compliment? Yes. It has nothing to do with your writing or anything. <laughs> um, That's fair. But you have a natural podcast pose. Oh. Like, oh. It's your I true calling. <laughs> Hands and... Well, I'm kind of like trying to get... Yeah. I, I'm just like trying to get comfortable and I don't, I don't know. I'm yeah. always fiddling. Fidgeting. While I'm supposed Ugh. to be writing, I just kind of like <laughs> pose myself until I look natural. <laughs> We're going to head to the park and play here. Nice. Does because this it's a very steep drop. Is there a story? Or is it just like yes. just missions? This one is more you're building a brand. Oh, you're Scientology, oh. right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jason, Jason Lee, right? Oh, is he Jason Lee is present as yeah. as is his character coach. I, I don't think they outright say it's all about Scientology, but the Skate series oh, is. is Scientology. Oh, well, that makes yeah. sense with Dead Space being around the same time, like, yep. right? <laughs> Where Dead Space, spires. Dead Space was sticking it to Scientology. Is Skate sort of like elevating it, like to try and balance it out against Dead Space? Is that what they were doing? <laughs> Absolutely. Dead it's the untold story of EA. <laughs> this, is, uh, this game's all about thetans. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what you're collecting. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta oh, find thetans. Guys, this game looks amazing still. Yeah. yeah, it does look good. Look at that lighting. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Leo, are you okay? You gotta hit yeah, one of those fine. cars. Oh, I really do. Your shirt's all dirty now. You gotta go get oh, another yeah. one from the pack. That's cool, though. Are you sure you're trying to hit a car? Yeah, let's. Okay. Oh my god. It just really uh, goes for it. You're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you can oh really slow yourself down. Gosh, it's like the Hey, raid. let's not do anything else but bales. Yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of this whole skateboard thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's great this is an idea for uh you're doing it wrong i had a long time ago oh yeah just, just uh, do skate without the skateboard whatsoever oh there's can, oh. You, can you try to land on the skateboard there as <laughs> it's like flying away you can is this oh. Oh. Whoa. yes that was almost cool oh, oh. <laughs> like the skateboard it's just turning into six stunts what the hell but check it out you can do that you can go like this oh Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's a very That's oh, cool. natural cool? and graceful leap. Yeah, for sure. Look, you look. Oh, lay, there, the board is there. Just, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you were close. Is this know. not, this is not Hall of Meat? No. That, that would show you, like, your I can't see brain it. cracking out, like, it, like exactly. Combat or something. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, does, it, that, does it get super violent? Yes. Ooh. Terrifying. Is it, M, is it an M-rated game? No. It's T for T. I mean, your head's not... Like oh. Falling off your body, but it'll show like you broke six hundred bones oh. in your body. Okay, I thought like there'd be brains I'm looking in... out of ears and stuff. I'm Nothing in... like that. You guys want to no. hear how much of a fake noob I am? A fake, a fake noob. We're I in free play. To. What are you doing? Of course, there are no challenges. We're in free play. I don't even know how to leave. <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 what? That's is, I guess this is... Wait, are, there, are you in free play options? Are there just like general Hey, options? figure it out. You know what I found? Huh. Um, we got like this cave cam. Cave cam? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Ryder, what are you doing? You're just pressing <laughs> buttons. Uh, but seriously, though, oh. what is that? Yeah, why do, yeah. Leo, why do we have a cave cam? Leo, why do we have a cave cam? I know you're very focused on trying to... Uh, you're still trying to figure out the menu? Come on. Yeah. We need places to store people who come in for visits. Okay. Oh, oh wait. See, now no, we're in you're still here again. mode. Oh. Oh, jeez. This is great. You can just turn this on in free play so that when you bail, it knows It knows what's up. It knows. It's like okay. that Fight Club game where it would show the bones cracking. Yeah, Fight Club. Yeah, you guys remember called, that yeah. game, right? Yeah the, yeah, fight, yeah, the game with all the sweat. Yeah, and you could pick the, the way you picked your character by picking an ID. That was fun. That was is, that the, is that like the launch? 
Like the oh, early you fight gotta go in there. I gotta go in there. You that was like there. Anthem. Maybe that's where <laughs> Anthem's <laughs> the idea came from. Yeah. Oh, this all makes sense. I love this game. Me too. All right, come on, you gotta get get in there. Fly. Oh, no. Nope, pull, nope. pull back. Pull <laughs> back. Oh. Oh, you're oh. fine. You only broke your. And. Yeah. All right, you're getting in there though, right? You're not giving up. I think you gotta jump For before sure. you hit the end of that ramp. Like a then? Little bit. Like you gotta, like don't jump so late. Like jump in the middle yeah. of the ramp. Yeah. Like yes. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Get in your hole. <laughs> <laughs> God, that, I mean, is you, your head okay? Hey, can you do that and then get your board back? Or once you're committed to meeting, you're done. Uh, good question. I think after a certain amount of meat, you're done. Okay. Let's try it. You know, in my experience. Ryan, I know you were... Oh, yeah. Now like, board! You can't. Oh, oh When you're in full meat was, mode. I know you were joking about Anthem, but it did kind of look like Anthem. <laughs> like, just the way your body was sort of yeah. in, like, Iron Man position, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I'm going to try to actually... What if it's it the time? same animation and we just discovered it? Oh! 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 Who needed that uh, bone, anyway? Schneefed the landing to use a skater lingo. Schneefed, schneefed the landing. Are you a, a skater boy? Oh, he is. I think whoever told you that was messing. Oh no, <laughs> not good. <laughs> did you uh, did you skateboard at all, Leo, in your life? I did. Yeah. I never really got the hang of it. I no. took lessons that I got for my birthday, which is the most punk rock <laughs> skater <laughs> shit you can do. <laughs> what birthday? Oh yeah, good question. Nine. Oh, maybe. I was hoping you would maybe say like that. sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that is cool. But I think what's oh my god, even less punk rock oh. is the guy giving those lessons. Yeah, right. That's true. I got uh, I got to the point where I could like ride the board, you know, pretty comfortably. But I I right. could I couldn't I could never like pull off a good like kickflip or anything. I couldn't really jump. But I got the basic balance down. That was as far as I got. I yeah. could ollie and kickflip. Oh yeah, see, so you're way ahead of me. That was all I could do was ollie, and then I could. I could get it to go like halfway around on a kickflip oh, and yeah. all yeah. over. Uh -huh. The kickflip would be like one out of every 30 tries <laughs> and then <laughs> barely the balancing. Like that is a skill and a half. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. There was a time where I went off my little tiny <gasps> kicker ramp oh. in, my, oh, in my front yard and I lost control of the board and I kind of grabbed it and I ended up landing on a one foot. And I, oh, and, nice. I ended, yes. and I Leo. I told everyone I did a finger flip air walk. <laughs> Did they believe you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, to this day they tell people. There's a video feed here that's Hanson Private. Oh, I don't know if we should. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> <laughs> makes what? sense. He's at work now. So, <laughs> what do you think that is? That's his bedroom. Clearly, he makes it really neat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't. I don't make my bed in the morning. I'm in too much of a hurry. Oh, my feet. <laughs> Okay, where else can we go? What is the... Is this the same city from the first two? The, like, they combined the name of some places? Oh, yeah, God. Like, Port Carverton. Like, is that what this, this is I think called? this is a new city. Okay, oh. that's different, because it was, like, San Fran Angeles or... Oh. Yeah. Something. Like, like Big Hero 6 style, San Fran Sokyo. Yeah. Right. It was It was some amalgamation of... Where's the coolest one we can go to? I like roofs. I like roofs. I like roofs. So does so Jason Lee plays Coach Frank. Yep. And he like talks to you. And does he like He does the tutorial. Oh. Does he like does he plug Alvin and the Chipmunks or anything? <laughs> yeah. No, the T Mobile sidekick. <laughs> That's right. Oddly enough, he was also in Tony Hawk's Project Eight as Coach Frank. Oh, really? Yeah. Because really? that's a character he did before either of these games. When he was a pro, pro skater? Guy? Yeah, I think. What? Oh, okay. That. Well, I guess then that's not that weird him. then. Okay. Cause right. Was, yeah, if it was like invented for Tony Hawk, then that would be weird. But... You know what we haven't been doing enough is the object dropper. Object dropper? Oh. Yeah. It, what is put that a ramp object right dropper? Here. You can put stuff places. Oh. So you can kind of design your own parks and stuff if you want there is a full park designer but you can also just do this stuff which is just specific setups to go for specific lines oh that's cool yeah i like that it was like a oh, weird thing that me and my here. brother got super into was uh you know those matt hoffman's pro bmx in that tony hawk era mm -hmm. and it had like you know where you can make your own bike parks and stuff but we turned it into like we tried to make um death gauntlets 
Like yeah. it was just like spike pits and stuff, and you would just we would just try to ride the bike as far as you could without dying, and they were like super hard. <laughs> like That's Super awesome. Mario Maker level. Yeah, it was like that, but in Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX for the PlayStation One. <laughs> it was like super weird. What are you doing here, Leo? When you're playing Pro BMX, you gotta make fun where you can. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm sure that game probably Very was serious okay. profession. <laughs> I mean, that game was just Tony Hawk with like a different yeah. set of wheels underneath. It was you, Kelly Slater's much. Pro Wakeboarding. Yeah, well, at least that on one you were on like riding waves, so the levels felt a lot different. I think we played that on replay a few months ago, actually. I could be wrong about that. I love BMXing in Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. That's like your favorite one, right? American Wasteland? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think that's where <laughs> yeah. I think that's where I fell off. Yeah, was right before that. Your it was like when this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that was right. usually in my. I'm really like trying to yard. do a backflip right now. You can do it. I think three, th Tony Hawk three and four are probably tied for my favorite. Maybe maybe four. They're all great. Yeah. Those uh, Tony Hawk's Underground. I could do with that. <laughs> I, I like <laughs> the that. first one. Might be my least favorite. I guess not including Proving Grounds, which I barely played. Look at this handy trick guide where I'm going to learn how to do a backflip. You yeah. did one earlier. I know. <laughs> so how does it how does it teach you these? Oh, it, oh, it tells you the. Okay, these are like fighting game inputs basically. Yeah. Release backflip. Dark catch. This was new to Skate Three. This dark catch. Yes. Backflip. Oh, you pull back. <laughs> hey, what did you guys think when Tony Hawk started to like? kind of fear skate and they started adding like the grabs remember the slow motion yeah. like zoom ins uh, yeah. that was kind of lost its way a little bit it was neat was that proving grounds might have been yeah because oh. when like i said when i played this the first time it was such this revelatory moment of like tony hawk was starting to fade away like i stopped caring about it as much and then this came in and just completely redid skateboarding games yeah, yeah. Right. so then to see tony hawk try to compete with this <gasps> like it was almost oh! kind of it felt kind of sad i always yeah. say that i want tony hawk to come back as an annualized series because i loved them each year but maybe that annualization is what kind of made it burn out right yeah. like and skate just kind of came along and gave you a fresh experience whereas yeah. tony was just kind of repeating the same thing the stories were getting more ridiculous uh i mean it became more like jackass at a point where you're yeah yeah competing yeah. in shopping carts and weird stuff like that. Ben Majura was like a huge part of the story for some reason. <laughs> like, Ooh. can you land that? I'm gonna try. Or is I'm, it too much you momentum? Land that. Like, too, much, uh, <laughs> too much speed for that to land. Yeah, I uh, might just like not breaking be able your angles, right? Yeah. How come you're not uh, immortal? <laughs> it's a great mm. question. Well, actually, I am. Oh, because I keep dying and coming back. Oh, I guess that's true. Something to think is about. it just because Hall of Meat is on? Does that affect anything? Oh, I wonder. That's a great question. Let's Should we test that live? Let's test it live. Meat mode. Deactivate. <laughs> oh, Connect is hooked up and working. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's good. We go for that guy. Excuse oh! me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, those can be your friends from your friends list. You'll see Are them just really? skating around. Okay, is that yeah. still true? Well, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, when I play at home, it is. Yeah. We're not connected the to the servers. The servers are still. Oh. Going. Yeah. I guess whichever they need. So, whichever it's, is it? Servers they need. I'm sorry. It's not live people. It's like drive avatars. It's, yeah. It's them with their character they made. Oh. Okay. Just driving around randomly. I don't know okay. if it's supposed to be their AI or anything. I Should like we that. Uh, <laughs> show off the, the main campaign? Sure. Just see uh, see what that's all about? Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's meet Coach. Leave and come back because that's Coach. the only way I know how. Coach Frank. Let's meet him. <laughs> see if Hanson shows up here. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on Whatever's going on in this house. Yeah, okay. It's a little up. Nice bed. Let's see. Someone, let's make sure he doesn't get robbed. <laughs> oh, that's why he has that feed set up there. Why didn't they make the E in Skate 3 the 3? Like Fear 3. Good judgment. Did. Yeah, Leo's yeah. Just seriously, me, Leo's just giving me an angry look. <laughs> <laughs> just mad at me for even suggesting they do that. Any implication that what they did isn't perfect <laughs> is infuriating. Which letter would be the four? Uh, the A. Yep. <laughs> kind of looks like a skfort. Skforty for three R. Classic skate gameplay. Have you guys seen this Nosferatu movie that's coming out soon? 
No. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a novel by uh, Joe Hill, uh, but they're turning it into a movie. But do you know how it's spelled? It's an, uh, disappointingly, probably. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah. N O S. All right, so far so good. Four. Mm. A mm. two. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, what did I do? Oh, this is the game. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. This I is, thought this uh, was Hanson cam again. Hanson's private team. <laughs> are these professional skaters? They are. With fake teeth? Yep. No. Skate. All of sk the three skate games had video intros like this, and they're all great. Did, um, was there like a uh, skaters picking either the skate franchise or the Tony Hawk franchise that became like contentious or anything? I, that's a great question. There's a couple crossovers, I want to say. You're saying, like, characters that people didn't like were in the game? No, I'm saying, like, this guy, Danny Way. Did like, he have to pick Tony Hawk or skate? Right. You know? I mean, he's a huge skater. Like, it's yeah. almost weird he wasn't in Tony Hawk at all. Oh, he but wasn't in any him, of them? But he's kind of the main pro in oh, okay. skate games. I know. The pro's pro. I know, I know his name. I'm familiar with him. I just, yeah, I just assumed he was in Tony Hawk at some point. but I, I don't think he was. Oh, that but I could guy. be wrong. But maybe there's a story there. This is pretty long. We don't have to watch it. Yeah. I mean, we got a good taste of it, right? Yeah. We, Basically, we it's, it's it. the eventually they end up turning the trees into a skateboard deck. <gasps> and so that's how it's connected. All those trees oh. to make one? Oh, yeah. What's our butts. team name? Team Butts. Butts. Okay. Butts for Ot 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Strap in. Here we mm. go. Four. What? Should be the number four. Oh, good point. It's like this, right? Team well, it's a number for four. A two? <laughs> oh, okay. It's both right. number four and yeah. two? Yeah. Also, you got to change that. I missed that layer. Butts needs a Z. Yeah, change that to a oh Z. Oh, my. What is wrong yeah. with me? All right. Jeez. Butts, it's butts tough for being in that seat, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're feeling it. Yeah, for What's sure. What's the most vampire-like one? Probably that cat, huh? That's scary. <laughs> yeah, that cat was scary. <laughs> Guys, that's kind of like a vampire. I don't watch much vampire stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just like the guy from Close Twilight. Enough. Okay. Oh, there we go. Butts for Atu. It's you, boss. Oh, cool. The legend. The legend. Yeah, that's good. The legend. Yeah, that's fine. Great. Right. Accurate. Let's get to gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll steal Panther. All right. Let's get you looking fresh. All right, what kind of character should we make? Can you randomize? And uh, yeah, that's good. Good question. Can you change the clothes so we get to have a better shirt? Yes. That's called merch. Oh. Oh, like there's not it. many options. Helmet oh, for safety. Helmet. Yep, thank <laughs> you. Lit, lit, lit. Yeah, red shirt. I like red shirts. Hide the blood. Yep. Brown pants. Be a yellow hoodie. Yeah, there's nothing too crazy in the customization in these Gotta games. This if you, that, is that, are those all the options? Or does it scroll down? It scrolls down. Oh, yeah, okay. you gotta unlock that stuff. We gotta get those skeleton yeah, pants. through gameplay. Oh, there we go. And today it would be microtransactions. Ugh. Yummy! So true. Yo, that fresh. Yeah, that, that is, is fresh. That is fresh, fresh, fresh deck. deck. Fresh deck. Turn up the trucks, dude. Turn up the trucks, turn down the wheel. <laughs> the trucks are really tight. <laughs> Uh, but you don't want the uh, trucks too tight, though, probably. You right. don't want to min-max on this, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you like. Well, we trust you. Having fun with the 360 D-pad here. Oh, it's always, <laughs> always <a> good. <laughs> <laughs> always helpful, always consistent. 360 D-pad. Do you guys like the Switch D-pad with the individual buttons? Oh, I don't. I, I, do. there, I don't hate it. Buddy. Yeah, I don't mind it. But I would Get prefer the here. Pro Controller every time. Welcome to my skate school. This is the state-of-the-art skateboarding program, man. Built this is Jason Lee as Coach Frank. Coach Frank. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out what this here, character is you exactly. You how to skate. Here, you're going to learn the basics. You're of Scientology. Good, <laughs> I'm going to break your board. Coach Frank. Coach Frank. <laughs> I always just okay. heard rumors about that. Is he a Scientologist? I don't know. <laughs> I hope he's not at all. I think <laughs> yeah. he is. <laughs> Coach Frank. So he's just like a, a coach guy? Who's he's like, like a coach type yes. of character. Okay. So he really wants you to succeed. and Okay. That's cool. He's, <laughs> he's funny. I like Jason Lee. Of course. Syndrome. My name is Earl. Syndrome. The squeak wall. 
He does a voice. He plays Sasquatch in the Cartoon Eric animated show We We Bear Bears, and he's pretty funny as the Sasquatch. Is very this a current in, show? Yeah. Very big in Japan, if I may say that I went to Japan recently. We Bear Bears <laughs> is big in Japan? Yeah. Oh. It's a good show. Let's merch for it's it. Funny. Owie! Ow! My trucks are too tight. <laughs> he just plays like he's Sasquatch in, in that show. Sasquatch is like one of those people you, that like is just way too excited to hang out with you all the time and you don't really like them that much, but they're not mean, so you don't want to be like rude to them. Like yeah. that's the whole character. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> what I like that follow path. Yeah. Although Leo's what like he's doing. not doing mm -hmm. anything. What, you're just Honestly, he's if you do a trick and mess up here, he gets ahead of you so fast and then you lose. Oh, okay. So it's better to just follow him. Yeah. Well, that's not Coach Frank, though. But yeah, why do you care about him? I, well, what is <laughs> not Coach Frank? But like, this is Retta. He's my cameraman. Oh, I okay. Think. That's cool. I like the camera view of this game, too. Yeah, the fact that the camera is supposed to be an actual person following you like a right. skate video oh yeah this is really cool right it pioneered the one shot idea that got a board later <laughs> yeah they did yeah cory barlog you know it's funny we, exactly we always are like wow god of war it's one singular shot but it's kind of like you know like you, most games time, are right? like ultimately right like <laughs> if it's just like a third person game it's fortnite's one shot <laughs> Right? Uh, Great good point. point. Agree with Smart me, Leo. Point. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Nathan. Well, I can poke yeah. no holes in that. Uh, now that uh, we're 30 minutes in and people probably tuned out, do you want to talk about yourself a little bit? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> um, I don't know. What, where should I start? I, I'm... Where were you inter born? Where was I born? I was born in California. Oh, and why were you okay. born? Yeah, why were you born? Um, my parents were bored. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> They tried something new. Uh, yeah, yeah, the first two kids just were not. Oh, what do you want to do today? <laughs> yeah, and then here I am. Um, but no, I'm from Colorado is where I came from to get here. Oh, okay. Um, Born in California from Colorado. Mm -hmm. This is already confusing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I am an intern here. I'm almost done. Yeah. So I get to Yeah, that sucks. It flies by. You get to leave pretty soon. <laughs> you go back to Colorado? <laughs> I am. Ledge land. Let me see you get a cool. line on these nice. two Yeah, I don't know. What would you like to know? Well, what, what, what games do you usually play? Obviously we know you like skate. I do like skate. What's um, your favorite game of all time? Yes. Of all time? Yeah. I like the game Flower. All right, okay. I'm just going to turn off your mic. That's fair. <laughs> That's the response I usually get. Yeah. I like Flower Fine. It's no Journey. I think it's better. What? Yeah. Whoa. I know. Fighting Hot words. take. I don't know. More like, <laughs> I don't know, fighting words. And I get into it. a lot of fist fights <laughs> over Flower and Journey. You look like a fighter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very yeah. scrappy. You got your sleeves rolled up there. Yeah. Ready to go little, at any time. Let people know. Always, uh, Flower is always the game that they really tried to get Roger Ebert to play, so he would stop <laughs> complaining that video games aren't art. Yeah. Like, but there are flowers. Well, someone was like, <laughs> they were, are art. they were. I think I read an interview once where someone was like, "I will literally mail you like a like a friend of his was like, I'll give you a PlayStation so you can play this game." And he was like, "I don't, I don't actually want to do that." I don't, I don't know if that's where I would start I, at I, convincing somebody. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, also it's, I wouldn't. It's easy, though. Like, it's not a challenging game. It is about the sort of emotional experience of it as opposed yeah. to, like, you know, trying to get the high score. So maybe it would have been a good fit for him. I don't know. For me, I think it was, it came at a time. It it hit me at, like, a perfect time. Sure. Where playing that game was the first time, I think, I think I was in high school, where I, I was able to kind of be like, oh, I don't know, like, I think games could do some like really interesting stuff yeah sure that they hadn't really done for me before yeah it's not, and so it's it's really not all stuck about just me. hitting things with swords so yeah it, it just stuck with me no that makes total sense yeah, yeah. remember when matt pat from game theory gave the pope undertale what <laughs> no I don't, what did he, he met the some pope? summit on new media with the pope and he <laughs> gave him a flash drive with undertale on it okay it's remember like, when this is what the kids are doing it's cool okay no remember. chance the pope opened that up remember when poland gave obama a copy of the witcher 2 for the xbox uh, 360? yeah that's <laughs> right yeah did he like it mm -hmm. yes 100 yeah on whitehouse.gov we do know that he hates pokemon 
I like the romance options. <laughs> that was a little too linear for my taste. Hey, go up that thing. Oh, you can't. You gotta follow. No, you gotta follow. No time. Oh! oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> Put my life in danger, man. Oh, hippie jump. How have I not done this? Oop! Oh, that's cool. That was cool. I assume you can land. You can land on your board. You can, that, right? Just not when I mess it why, up. Why does that move get that name? Is that a common thing hippies do? I assume it's some derogatory term that skateboarders use for some type oh. of people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Not it implies. cool skaters. Come be respectful, skateboarding <laughs> community. Yeah, come on, it's 2019. Damn, here, is, here he is. is I just realized you you're like Yo, ketchup out. and mustard. You you're like a McDonald's character. Yeah, I'm sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up? I'm the legend. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by McDonald's. Ronald. I hang out with the Hamburglar. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Grimace. Yeah, I met. I met him. I hang out sometimes. <laughs> that weird thing that's like a French fry monster. Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his name though. Let me show you how it works. Kind of looks like a pom -pom. fries McCool. <laughs> fries McCool. You remember how to move stuff around, right? Now we're learning about the skate park building feature. Oh, great. This one's fun. And don't worry, it's so, okay, Coach Frank is not the one talking. No. But it says, Coach Frank says, okay, get off board. Mm -hmm. Coach Frank says, but he's not talking, yo. I just. But he would say that. Neat little thing. When you're grabbing onto something, you can add it to the session marker, marker up there. <laughs> <laughs> and then every time you reset the session marker and go back to the start, it'll reset its position to where it is in case you bump it and it oh. moves and stuff. Hey. That's, Oh! <laughs> this is a good <laughs> game. Hear me out. Yep. All right, listening. Skating Battle Royale. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. groan all you want right now. Just get it out of your system. Uh. <laughs> no, I like Battle but Royale But it's games. not a constricting circle, but it is as many skaters as they can get into a big open space, and every minute a certain percentage are knocked off. Okay, so yeah. what dictates you getting knocked score. off? You're, so you, you got to keep your score high. Yep. Okay. And so you will see the next batch that's in line at a certain point. You know, the next 5% get knocked yeah. off. And There's so, an objective in Tony Hawk games, four onwards, where you could talk to somebody and they would start listing tricks and you had to do them in time. Yeah. Mm. And where they'd show them on the side yeah, and they'd you, start falling off. Right. You could have objectives like that. And then, like, you that could also just occur to everybody. So, if you saw someone like doing a combo and they were doing well, like, you could try to like get in their way to disrupt their combo. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Like, you could go to a like, maybe you're in a rural area and there's not as great of pipes there, but if you go to the <laughs> skate park, if you go to the skate park, the uh, the half pipes, you know, they're, they're great, congested, but, yeah. but they're congested. Yeah. So there's a risk to going to that area. Totally yeah, true. This. Do you drop in from a plane? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Acid course. drop in. And you have Perfect. to like land, you have to drop into a pipe, right? Oh god. You could. That would be a skill thing. Yeah. To get like major points. But I'd everybody would be trying it. Mm -hmm. I like I think it's a good idea. I think Tony Hawk should call us. This could have been like <laughs> rat the thing that separated Radical Heights from the pack cuz they had the BMX bikes mm -hmm. in there. Already. That was fun. That game was BMXing already. around in a battle royale. Not gonna complain Jumping about off that. trampolines. I mean, we you know, we, we give that game infinite credit for having BMX bikes. Before it's got like hoverboards that you're <laughs> flipping around in and stuff. Like if we played that, we'd probably think it was better. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 No chance. <laughs> Nothing tops Radical Heights. We're to the point of being nostalgic about Radical Heights. <laughs> <laughs> Dark times. Roger Ebert should have played that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Stuff oh, falling out of the sky. It'd be just like Whoa. this. <laughs> yeah. Skate 2 was so much about fighting back. You know, you're in this oppressive city where you've got to call in somebody to take grind blockers off rails okay. and things like that. But this one is just like, we're in this city that's built for skateboarding. Stuff to skate on is falling out of the sky. It's a very different vibe. Yeah. So we got about four minutes, Leo. <gasps> And then we'll move on to another game. To uh, some oh, amazing. Okay. You gotta do some let's killer tricks. Let's take a great photo then. And then let's do one last bomb drop. Oh, this is sick bomb. Photo mode before photo mode. Nope. 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 Don't count that one. <laughs> the quick restart is really nice. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Does it, doesn't it like put you on the cover of a magazine or something after Thrasher? Yes. Thrasher? I'm trying to do my flip. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do my flip. Trick into the bank. Show off. 
<laughs> Good thing you have a helmet. Yeah. This is going to be a sweet photo. Yeah. Because what? you don't show how sloppy the landing was. Oh, I thought that was the picture they were going to use. Yeah. Like the lamest. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> they did something cool right after this. <laughs> there you go. I like that. Moment before death. Just make it a little artsy. Mm, like flower. Sort of washed out like a war <laughs> photograph kind of looking. It. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Then, uh, then Peter Jackson can come and color it in a couple decades. This is kind of artistic, huh? Yeah. Kind of. Oh, make it look like she's like... Right at the top of the frame, skating on oh on the ceiling. Mm. I like your choice to make the photo bad. Yeah. I think that's cool. <laughs> that's the thing is the f choices in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> the leg in. A, I'm sorry, we've got to set this up to print. Is that a misprint? Is it it's like Forrest Waldo, kinda? Yeah. Uh, the if they announce Skate Four and we have it on the cover of Game Informer, we should get them to recreate that cover for Game yeah. Informer. Oh, the man. skater would actually be stuck behind the Game Informer logo, so you couldn't even see them. Even better. Hey, what's up? Ready here. Oh, I'm gonna learn about the challenge map. Ooh. Oh, joy. Ooh. Crash. Have you gotten every achievement in this game, Leo? I don't think so. Yeah? You've been playing it all these years later? Yeah, it's been, you know, split across a bunch of different consoles. Oh. But you don't have all the achievements? I don't think do so. Even, I, I don't like even look game? anymore. Yeah. I still I still love Because okay. I hate Skate 3. Right. That's something we know about Nathan. Nathan likes achievements. He's I do. He's a big fan of them. But I feel like I can't talk about it in the same room as Reiner. As Reiner. Who has... <laughs> right. <laughs> all of them, somehow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> ready for the big finale? Yeah. Or actually, how much time do we have now? Uh, a you minute? got a couple minutes. Hey, Leo, it won't matter if this stuff doesn't work anymore in here in the control booth, right? I don't care. Okay. You gonna pour some liquids? I hit buttons and nothing happens now, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you lost your privilege. Oh, yeah. Look at me oh, go. Oh, beautiful. Look at me like go. This, this feels is a cool area. Yeah. Yeah, this is Danny Way's Mega Park. This feels... Is this a real place? I don't think so. That okay. seems Hey, do you guys Whoa. ever go to... Oh, my God, Leo. Whoa. Oh, I'm all right. Oh. <laughs> you ever go to Boom Boom Huck Jam? I did. I did, too, at the... XL? Target? XL, yeah. Yeah, we were, we were at the same show. Wait, you guys sat next to each other. <laughs> we might have. Hold on. I we were best friends. <laughs> I, I had the mini donuts. Oh, I had the giant donuts. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I had mini donuts and beer, and then I went to go meet... Tony Hawk afterwards oh, at, at you can like still the that. little press area, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do the interview because I had to go outside to barf. Because <laughs> the mini donuts, the were... mini donuts were bad. Oh, wow! Yeah, it's a good what thing a you got the giant ones. Wait. Boom! So Boom Boom Huck Jam was like a like they would go to like civic centers and stuff <laughs> and like have a big. Now landed. Skating it. Holy cow! Oh my gosh! You got nope. it. Was it was like the biggest. Pipe or jump. I don't remember what they ramp. I don't remember what they called it, but it was like this huge, Whoa. crazy kind of daredevil setup. Where yeah. These guys are flying. And they did um, skateboarding and bikes. Yep. There was a, there were circus intermissions. Yep. Oh, weird. Is that where Tony Hawk did? That's where he like did the 900, right? No. no. He did that in an actual competition. Oh, really? You could do probably like 2,700 on, <laughs> on those things. Oh, okay. What was the name? I, I remember seeing like DVDs for it and stuff. Boom Boom Huck Jam. Yeah, but like, what was there like a story behind that? Oh my gosh. Or do you know? Um, Is it just a weird sounding thing that made Tony Hawk? Yeah, laugh? I think it was some. There's some answer about like oh. it's so new. I had to make up a new word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Think I can do the whole thing like this? Yeah, you're Leo freaking I Vader. Know, I know you can. I am the legend. <laughs> legend. Whoa. Try McDonald's today. <laughs> Oh, my Whoa. feet. Oh, they put bacon on Big Macs now, you know. I did not know that. Of course, is I, it, what of course is it called? I do that. Big Mac with bacon, I think. Oh. Uh, they don't have a fancy name. Oh, I'm name. sorry. It's called Boom Boom Huck Jam. Mm -hmm. oh. They had to come up with a new name because it was so new. <laughs> that's, <laughs> well, they, that's cool. Well, they didn't because Tony Hawk already took oh, that name. That's right. No one told them. Whoa. That's that was kind of cool. That was a trick, I think. <laughs> okay. Can I drop in like this? Can it you? doesn't really want me to. Can you just drop in? There's probably a way. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong thing. I don't want to put this game down. I yeah, wish this is uh, where we're going to have to call it. I understand. Oh, okay. Ready for one final big boy flip? Let's big boy do flip. It. <laughs> 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 that was a good way to end it. I flipped in the air. You did it. Good job, Leo. 
Thank you. Good job, Way Nathan. to go. Thank you. Reiner, you were in the booth. Yeah. I, I, the camera's on you, Leo. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Do you want to <laughs> set us up? It's all right. What is the next game? Let's find out together. <laughs> part two, stay tuned, and you'll be finding that out. <laughs> we all recognize that iconic theme. Of course. <laughs> yes. So it's the Monster House theme. It's the Monster House theme. It's based on the, the film of the same name. Gonna uh, go check this out real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? Is this like a whole... Oh, little... you already lost. They must... Did they play this in the movie or something? Probably. So I don't I don't think that this was our intention, but Jason Lee is actually in this movie. So we have like a Jason Lee episode. Wow. Yeah. The Jason Lee spectacular. Does yeah. he play Coach Frank? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if he plays a coach? You have to see. find tokens in the main game to play this game. Oh, and then you can... That's kind of neat, actually. That is interesting. Is this game good? Uh, <laughs> it came out July 18th, 2006, alongside the movie, and developed by Artificial Mind and Movement, or uh, A2M, Whoa. Mm -hmm. published by THQ. And it's oh, listed THQ. as third-person survival horror. I'm sorry, Leo. I know you you get scared easily. You get spooked. Uh... So this is, uh, the movie was like a early motion capture animated movie, hmm. like a pre, I don't know, maybe not pre, but then that era of like, uh, what was that movie about the train, the Christmas train? Polar Express. Polar Express. There we go. And then the movie was written by Dan Harmon. Oh my gosh. Of community fame. Yeah. Rick and Morty, all that stuff. He did not like this adaptation of the film. Oh, really? Yeah, I complained about it. <laughs> if you can imagine him complaining about things. I could. <laughs> can stretch my mind a bit. I think Spielberg produced it. It was like a Spielberg joint. The movie. Is that what it says in the credits? <laughs> a Spielberg, a Spielberg joint. joint. It's like Spike Lee. Yeah, that's right. Kyle, you remember what the movie was about? Uh, I mean, they're catching a house. Us up there's, a, there's a haunted house that they're all scared of. Okay, fine. She's smarter than me. So DJ Chowder and Jenny are pulled into the home. Yeah. Uh, after that, they have to avoid getting eaten. It's actually, there's, I remember there being a pretty sad backstory for the house. Like the old man was trying to build a home for his wife who is like picked up. His wife was being picked on by the local children and she got angry and like fell into the the basement of the house as it was getting filled with cement or something. It was really messed what? up. Yeah. It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> you were warned. Oh. Yeah, I was warned. I'm sorry. And so, oh, we're going right inside the house. I think the movie takes a little while to get here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this starts in the middle of the movie and then goes past the end of it. No one would do that. That would be insane and confusing. It's worth a shot. Roger Ebert should have played this game because he saw the movie already. <laughs> He'd get it. I didn't think games were art until I played Monster <laughs> House on the PS2. Yeah. <laughs> Roger Ebert should have played the Godfather game because he probably liked uh, the Godfather a lot. On the Wii where you could like choke people out <laughs> yeah. with the Wii remote? <laughs> this that was is great. art. I loved it. That yeah. or uh, Reservoir Dogs on PS2. That would have been another good one for him to play. Yeah, or if you Michael remember the Fight Club. Like in that game. Is he really? I think, his, I think he's the only one. <laughs> <Is> <laughs> He's got a family to feed. <laughs> chowder. Freaking chowder. You guys. Oh my god. I got so close Jenny. to them without wow. them noticing. That's a really big what's the function of that when it's not stealing children? Ventilation. Huh. <laughs> Air conditioning. Okay, <laughs> here we go. It's like Resident Evil 4. Oh, we tank controlling now. Oh, really? Yeah. No uh, right analog controls. You can l do a free look with the right thumbstick. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Pretty advanced. You shouldn't be scared because you have a water pistol? Yeah, it's yes. probably holy water in there or something. <laughs> Why doesn't she just straight up murder him? Why She takes, takes all his friends. Sadistic. He's busy. I'm sure this will be useful. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How come you you lost some health at some point? What is that about? Can you not go up the stairs from fear, <clears throat> or will it open up every time? Good question. Oh, uh oh. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, and then I can't go up it because the. Gemonies. What? G Gemonies. That's not right. 
Jiminy's. Can you close up? We gotta get to the kitchen. Yeah, is this the Can kitchen door, door here? Is there a sprint button? We'll find out. Oh, Rosie. Next Whoa. time on it Monster House. It has a weird <laughs> blur over it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why you guys brought water guns, because you knew there would be a fire. Is this a kitchen? Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, melee attack? Okay. It's like the meme of that anime character looking at the butterfly. Is this a kitchen? That's one burnt toaster. You doing okay, Leo? <laughs> I have my eyes closed. <laughs> You're playing really well, <laughs> all things considered. Thank you. You, you got to tell him when to turn, Kyle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we tried this with Resident Evil Physics. 3, I remember. But not on the boxes. <gasps> oh. That's got to be a collectible. Uh, no, it. just pick it up. You just need 31 more. Game oh, art. Game art. Game art. See, it's art right there, Ebert. <laughs> it's not even art from the movie? <laughs> it's just from oh, the game. <laughs> I would way rather see that. Hmm, I can't have pop. Did what even was that? Did it say pop? This it's way. Probably totally fine. Not Believe a trap. Oh, uh, you walked into search. I've lights. walked into a searchlight and woken up the house. Is what happened. Oh, okay. Ah, shoot that it with water. Horrifying. That is scary. Wrecked. Hey, this is from Roger Ebert. His Oscar predictions for 2006. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. A dark, scary, visually inventive sleeper named Monster House came out of nowhere to become an artistic success, <laughs> but right. it has no chance to win the Oscar ahead of Cars. Well, yeah, it's a PS2 he's, game. He's not wrong. <laughs> That's true. And cars are popular. Everybody has one. <laughs> I think, I bet, I bet Monster House is more interesting than cars, I bet. I, we just only I would rather Pixar watch so it. Much. Having seen cars and not this movie, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this movie I don't think probably has aged as well visually because it was motion capture, mm -hmm. so it looks really strange now because it, it's very I clearly wonder. people dressed up in mocap suits. Motion capture stuff on PS2, I feel like, still holds up pretty well. Yeah, like Metal Gear Solid still looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. But it was still that, like, weird, they couldn't figure out how to do eyeballs well, you know, in that movie era. It just, it looks weird. And yeah. And now that's, it's getting a lot better. Well, that's why they always showed the back of the character like this. Oh. They couldn't do the eyes. Smart. Yeah, so you, you brought up Polar Express, and that was the same. That movie weirded me out. Yeah, it just looks off. Oh, did you monkey. guys ever see Beowulf? Yeah. yeah. It's on yeah. theaters. That actually looks pretty good. That was awesome. Uh, I, liked, uh, I liked that mythology. Like, I like that story. I like Grendel. You know, I always thought that was a cool story. It's real. And I liked that Crispin Glover got to play freaking weirdo Grendel. Grendel. Because he's kind Grendel of a strange, probably, strange yeah. guy. It wasn't much of a stretch. And he was like, the thing about that movie that's weird is like, he, he sued the director, Robert Zemeckis, for Back to the Future 2 because they used his likeness without his permission. Mm. But I guess like <laughs> that was the movie where they mended their relationship because he's like, yeah, I'll come play Grendel for you. We're buddies now, even though I sued you a couple years ago. Wait, you want to give me money? <laughs> <laughs> We're besties. <laughs> to dress up in a leotard and just be a weirdo? All right. Oh, Leo, that was scary. Luckily, this character didn't even see it, so he's not scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fine. So do you just have infinite water? You just have to reload? Yeah. Gotta pump it. Saliva. <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty slow on opening those doors. That's like a Resident Evil reference, right? Like opening the doors all slow? Yeah. Oh. Reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a technical limitation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the mirror doesn't work. This game's trash. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you can Oops. flush. It's Whoa. broken. They at least went through the trouble of breaking the mirror so that you wouldn't, you know. It's a new toilet for this house. Yeah. State of the art. True. Art again. Yeah. <laughs> this toilet is More art. More art. Wait a second. Ebert's last name has the word art in it. Ebert. <laughs> Roger Ebart. <laughs> I don't think it does. Okay, hold on. You can cut that out, right? That was... Well, Ert is the higher level of art. So. Oh, mm -hmm. true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not many people know about it. That was me going through that door. Okay. <laughs> There's your friend. Oh, yeah. She's got her because super soaker. Has the day off. Oh, you're playing as her now? Good question. Well, yeah, don't you know the answers to all these questions? Oh, well, that's cool. Hey, what's your favorite CG animated film? Of all time? Yeah. The Incredibles. <sighs> it's hard to beat. Yeah, probably The Incredibles. That is a good one. Yeah, I like Toy Story 
3. Yeah, <laughs> Toy Story 3 is very good. Did you cry? Did you tear up? <sighs> oh, I did, I got, certainly. I, I, you feel it in your throat? I got choked up a little bit. Yeah, the whole... It, the scene with the... Uh, what would you call it? The dump? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was like kind of holding my breath but the, all the stuff with Andy man I was I was yeah the end of that movie it. where he's giving away the toys always choked up yeah like my kid will be watching it and I won't even be facing the TV and I'll choke up just, like, <laughs> you just hear it, it. <laughs> yeah Coco's another one like that too just listening to yeah. that movie chokes me up never saw that Coco's oh, good Coco's amazing yeah let's ruin it <laughs> <laughs> I actually I it's it's early to say but I Into the Spider-Verse might be up there for me like, that's I've, true I've probably watched it five times like I, and it, it's, it just gets better and better. It's so good. And I'm not even like... I like Spider-Man, but it's not like one of my favorite superheroes necessarily. I just... That movie is so good. Maybe this will help later. Yeah. That movie's so pretty. Yeah. And they're making a sequel and a Spider-Gwen movie, right? Yeah. I know that oh. they've confirmed like a female-led sort of follow-up, like focusing on Gwen, presumably, and Penny, maybe. Yeah, but. I think... I think it's two movies. I might be yeah. wrong, but I, I that I mean they should. <laughs> oh yeah, just keep those going. Yeah. Sorta. Anybody got what any? What are we th- looking at? Theories here. Go so in you there. Can't... Okay. Oh, oh there you go. I there thought it was go. a painting. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What? Huh? Ah! <laughs> 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 oh Run! yeah, you better go. I wonder if, like, any the kids that this was, like, aimed toward, if any were absolutely horrified by this game. Because it does seem, like, pretty scary. Well, they keep making this stuff. Like, Goosebumps. There's the, what, clock in the wall? Oh, yeah. The house with the clock in its walls. Yeah. yeah. Is that a Goosebumps? Animal no, house. No. There's, like, this kind of continuing trend of these house-based horror yeah. uh, things. Creepy, creepy movies. House MD. <laughs> <laughs> House of Cards, the house on Haunted Hill, children's. Do you watch that? No, it's good. I haven't watched that. It's too scary. Haunting of Hill House, recommended. The hills have eyes. What are we doing? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we're just saying H H movies. House of Mouse. It's like a jungle. Stupid chowder can't even keep his flashlight bulb working. (laughs) Stupid chowder. (laughs) Stupid. Wait, are you yelling at chowder or are you chowder yelling at himself? I'm Chowder yelling at himself. Oh, okay. Don't come on, Chowder. Kids. Buck up. Hey, what do you guys think uh, Star Wars Episode Nine is going to be called? Uh, uh, really? Chowder powder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so okay, so we got the Force Awakens, the Last Jedi. The, the Force f- Awakens, the Last Jedi. The Force goes back. Is that to a bed. sentence? <laughs> oh, it's just the. <laughs> the Force Awakens, the Last Jedi to. The force goes back to bed. Yeah, the force goes back to bed. That's my prediction. I'm doing kind of a melee focus build for Chowder (laughs) here. I'm going to go with balance of the force. Oh, that's good. Yeah. The other Clone Wars, maybe? (laughs) Clone Wars part two. The the Clone Wars two. Uh, Your health. Oh, yeah. They're doing damage. How tight are your trucks? (laughs) (laughs) Tweak that. Yeah. So- that soften the turn? wheels, tighten up the trucks. Oh my goodness. The reason I bring it up, next weekend will be the Star Wars Episode Nine trailer. Oh. Uh, Star Wars Celebration, I will be there covering it. You're going to see all sorts of stories from me, maybe some actor interviews. Are you going to beef oh. up your Ewok autograph collection? Maybe. I have two. I'm trying to collect them all. <laughs> uh, I have Hang Glider Ewok. And then uh, this this female, and I can't remember her the Ewok's name, but it was funny. I didn't know it was Hang Glider Ewok guy <laughs> until he signed his name on the, the the art and then wrote Hang Glider Ewok <laughs> <laughs> under his name. He knows. Yeah, he knows it. Because the image is just like it was like a you know what they a photo they took for merchandising. Yeah, yeah. Of him just standing there. Uh, but I got a big kick out of that. He was, he was very nice. Where where is the event, Ryan? Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Do you know who you might be potentially interviewing, or is that still all up in the air? It's, I just know it's not JJ. Okay. Uh, but I'll just ring him later. You and him you are know. not on good terms. If you talk no. <laughs> after lost. If you talk to Boyega, like he's a he's a big into games. You gotta talk games with him. Get his get his like favorite games and 
how he would fix Battlefront 2. <laughs> yeah, he was really yeah he was really a big well, fan he, of Battlefront 2 when it was coming out. Yeah. He really well, he tried then to after fix Battlefront 1 with his tweets. That's like, right. Add a story yeah. mode. Yeah. And then they added a story mode and he ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> he He's, specifically said add a story mode that no one likes. <laughs> and then they That's had really to. really bad advice. <laughs> he didn't have enough characters in the tweet. <laughs> he went to personally tell them that. J- cause is J.J. Abrams... He's directing this last one again, right? Yeah. Yes. Writing and directing? Uh, he's writing it with someone else. Okay. And starring. <laughs> God, there was, man, right before The Last Jedi came out, there was this, uh, there was this Onion article that I just, I loved so much in, awesome. in premise. That was, the idea was Ryan Johnson said he had accidentally left his debit card on a table in one of the scenes in The Last Jedi. And, and the, the, the premise of the story was that he was pleading with people not to steal his identity when they went and saw Star Wars. That's <laughs> <laughs> such a weird idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they just had a fake tweet that was like, hey, everyone, just a heads up, I left my debit card in one of the scenes, so if you can, like, not steal the numbers when you go see The Last Jedi, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, this is creepy. Uh, it is, and I'm low on dang hell. Yeah. And water. You're making it exciting. I like this music, though. This part yeah. looks kind of neat, actually. This game, oh. I know we're, we're it, it's not bad. It's, it's kind of like cool genuine art style. creepy yeah. and like it's kind of cool. The characters have different weapon types. This is doing more of a shotgun blast. Yeah, I like it. He's got a cape like Captain Underpants. Mm. <laughs> Tra la la. But he has a shirt. <laughs> Unlike, Captain Unlike Captain Underpants. Underpants. <laughs> yeah, what's that about? I'll go to the dumb waiter. Doc Ock, it's gonna get ya. Oh, what was his name again? Chowder. chowder. Get out of there, Chowder. Chowder. Chowder man. He can act like Chowder can. Chapter two. Mm-hmm. Man, we are ripping through this game. Let's what? just beat it. <laughs> Super yeah. replay. I'm so glad to pick up this thread of the story again. Where is that music coming from? <laughs> is this kid the weakest of them? Looks in, like In him. terms of gameplay? Yeah. He's and that's like the one they led with. He's that's kind of a basic weird. soldier type character, you know? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> understands him. Real He's soldier. Soldier 76. Yeah. 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 Cool. Automatic fire. Whoa. Oh, cool. Upgrades? What? Try it out, dude. Why did this old man have water gun upgrades <laughs> in his house? <laughs> <house? laughs> I, I do like seeing around. him get hit in the face with a book. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Read a book. Then you're going to love me. <laughs> I want to go through this door. Uh, what? Nope. Oh. Sorry. I'll go through the door you requested. Oh, with the light. Oh, there's a bear. Soda pop. That door is locked. Nathan, what do you guys call soda in um, Colorado? Soda. Just soda. Yeah. Okay. I people call it pop here in Minnesota. It I still know, throws I, me off. I don't understand it. Yeah. I've I mean, learned a lot of weird Minnesota things. Yeah. Can we well, agree that calling it Coke is less good than yeah, calling the it Yeah, Oh, it's dumb. That's like in South Carolina, everything is Coke. And well, the full it's, name it's is... stupid, yeah. Full name is Soda Pop, right? I guess I, Pop? I don't know. But pop, so it's if you're like, going to shorten it, Pop seems like the least descriptive of the two. Well, soda, it's it is one, soda. It's only one syllable, though, you know, a yeah. huge time saver throughout just, your, <laughs> the course of your life. It just feels like very, like, 50s to me. Like, it just feels like very old and cl- classic. Yeah, well, I want to be hip and cool, bubbly, right. bubbly. Been drinking a lot of bubbly lately. Yeah. That's All right, Leo. I think this is a good spot. Although you just oh, solved I just a pretty crazy oh puzzle. Can we see what that arcade game is? At the yes. Did you Let's get a coin? Yeah, I got a bunch of arcade tokens. Oh, I, assume that's oh, I didn't even fun. notice. I like that. Uh, I like that. I think that's a cool idea. I'm assuming that that was in the game or in the film rather. Oh, we got ten wow. credits. All right. You got to beat this. <laughs> uh, do we got to blur that? Is he wearing something? Okay. He's like Captain Underpants. Back off. <laughs> Better back off. Is there... Y'all stay backed off. <laughs> Y'all don't get close now. <laughs> I got an axe. We, we do... get those guys? So this is like Ghost and Goblins, right? Like that's kind of the... It looks like it. Kind of, well... You got to press up there, like Castlevania? Like, oh, yeah, diagonal. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's deliberate. Look at that stair animation. I like that. Yeah, he's really getting into it. Mm-hmm. Watch the hammy. <laughs> Proud stance. 
Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> gotta jump. Misunderstood the. You can't stand stakes. on those. Those are rocks. Yeah. Obviously, you can't step on that portion of the I wall. I remember there was a commercial back in the day for a, a third party Sega Genesis controller, like a TV commercial. And the big selling point of it was that it had, like, a diagonal button on the controller. Because uh, the gen the standard Genesis controller, I guess, didn't. And uh, the big, like, pitch of the commercial was like, like, look, you can walk upstairs. And they, they showed a clip of, like, the Jurassic Park game of Alan Grant, like, walking upstairs. And that was, like, the exciting selling point of the controller. It's like, look, stairs work now. The envy of all your friends. Exactly. <laughs> You could be Alan Grant walking upstairs in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Are you doing combos? That's a if you do down an attack, I discovered you do a slide forward like that. Oh, That's nice. pretty cool. Coming at ya. Do you have any other attacks? Can you like throw? I don't think any of the other buttons do anything. Can you like uppercut an enemy into the air and then shoot them with a gun? Like Devil May Cry? <laughs> Hey, Leo. Does any of this look like that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leo, speaking of throwing, can you throw like you don't want to win an Overwatch match and you just want to screw over your teammates? Sure. I'm going mid. Oh, he got you. <laughs> just, just Someone go Mercy? Look out for them. Someone go Mercy? Like... <laughs> mercy? Can I get a Mercy? Oh. Heals. Are you guys serious? <laughs> <laughs> Thou art dead. You could have used a Mercy there. <laughs> there well, this has been a fantastic experience. You're being attacked. Agreed. What is life but a series of experiences? And if... Wow. If one of them gets to be playing Skate 3 with you guys <laughs> oh. and Reiner in the booth, what, what, how blessed are we? I think that was art. Hashtag blessed. That was art right there. Yeah, wow. I think Roger Ebert should have listened to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back seven days from now, every week, replay, Friday. Check it out. And go back through the archive. If there's any game you want to see us play, we've probably done it already. <laughs> so go search it up. Thanks for watching.